first thing I listen for is someone who just has the ability to act. And uh, that's normally the first uh, criteria when I'm casting for a part. And then if they have a range and they can do older voices and younger voices, then obviously we we'll want to find that. Someone! Anyone out there? My name is Amanda Whitley. I get locked in a little padded room and make funny voices. This is much more fly by the seat of my pants, do a lot of cold readings. Um, and it's also a lot more cathartic because I usually get to do a lot of more <laughs> kind of stuff, which I don't get to do a lot of that. <laughs> With video games, it tends to be really, really all of that by yourself. So all you have is your imagination. Some games do have some animation that you match but a lot of games, even if they have it, they don't, it's only part of it. Sometimes on some games, you only get your lines. So you don't even know who you're talking to or what. You kind of just have to make a choice and go with it. Mm, singles. Singles, got it. It's helpful to see an image. Um, if there's a picture or some graphics, that's great, uh, just to give you a sense of what the character's like. Um, it's nice to hear the backstory. If I'm not familiar with the game, to find out what's going on in her world, and this is the case with this game, there's been a lot of major shifts. Do you have any advice for people that would try and get into the uh, voice acting industry? My advice is, uh, I don't know. Um, Be an actor first. Probably play video games, learn what you like. Don't count on this to uh, pay your bills. <laughs>